hey Virgo welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the videos and you like the readings keep in mind this is a general singles love reading so some of the messages may or may not be for you take the fits leave the rest this is a channel for Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus but all signs are welcome all right, you guys, so let's see what your romance angels' messages are. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And this is going to be for the rest of April. You also have getting to know each other. Um, mm, Virgo singles very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, you might be giving someone a chance. Um, the rest of April, oh my gosh, there's like a week left. I can't even believe this. So... Let's look in also a little bit um, May, but yeah, you might be you, you might be connecting with someone. Um, looking to see is the coast clear? <laughs> is the coast is the coast clear? Is it safe for me to love? Can I open my heart to somebody now? Um, is this person going to be like real and not throw back in my face? Uh, you know, you're getting to know. You will get be getting to know someone. Okay, so this is awesome. This is cool, um, and a decision being made if you want to follow through with something here. Okay. So let's get into, where are, what am I? Who's coming towards you? Okay, so it's definitely some new communication coming in. Uh, someone's going to initiate phone call, text message. Um, someone's going to initiate a reach out towards you. This person is single. They could be a Virgo, another Virgo. Um, they're coming in. Yeah, I like the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> they're showing, this person is showing up like they got, they get the goods. Okay, they dress well. They take care of self. They're totally independent. They don't have any baggage hanging off of them. They don't have uh, any past people in the picture. This this person is completely solo, completely single, um, and wants to put a crown on your head. King's crown, a queen's crown, whichever. Okay, um, let's see. I like it. Oh, okay. All right, somebody, this could be a past person. Um... But for the rest of you, this is like somebody I feel is very kind and sincere, um, very authentic, someone who's like, okay, so there's a giving energy of someone who's very alpha, <laughs> a very alpha kind of energy from someone here. Um, let me see. A lot of res reciprocities. This could be somebody also that you knew from your past, like a long time ago for some of you, or maybe someone you dated before and maybe i don't know something didn't work out now they're coming back around virgo taurus capricorn okay um but it could also be somebody new hey virgo imagine you being with another virgo i mean let me tell you what it's a hoot so yeah i do feel like there will be some type of communication initiation of communication from this person um okay some of you might be mothers it could be a mother's day something or other coming for you like a flower or flowers um you might meet this person if you're like okay they just said if you're home depot <laughs> home depot okay that's weird um for others what am i what are they trying to say here oh my goodness virgo show me this king of pentacles what's going on with this person okay they might be connected to a friends group or there might be some event that you'll connect with this person um maybe a party <clears throat> um or it's connected to friends for some of you it could be a reunion with friends that you're connecting with but it looks like some kind of a get together okay some kind of a get together um that this person is going to attend and you'll be at two and you guys are going to like strike up some conversation to uh, this person might initiate like hey do you want to go on a date or do you want to like hang out or go do not hang out i can't stand that yeah okay because we're in high school let's hang out no initiate actually to ask you out okay um to go on a proper date is what i'm hearing like a proper date like something like that is well deserving of you like not somebody that just wants to okay yeah somebody all right you guys might work with this person or you go to school with this person okay as well let me see what else is going on here i love it i love it somebody's definitely okay so you've got the magician here um virgo they just gave me baseball they just told me baseball. 
So what does that mean? Baseball, a baseball game. You might be going to a baseball game or connecting with this person at a baseball game. Um, yes. Okay. That is so strange. Baseball or some kind of sporting event as well. Or maybe you already have a date planned with this person. Okay. I just saw this card. I just saw it right when it flipped out. Four of Wands. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely picking up some baseball vibes and some of you are going to be sitting near home plate. I mean, what? Like right down there at the at the bottom. Celebration, some kind of event. Awesome. <laughs> um I'm hearing like um like there's a a team, like there's a team that that you guys go to a baseball game and they win. I don't know, they're telling me it wouldn't be a pennant is it no because it's too early for that right i don't know if you guys even watch baseball i have no idea but so far i'm just getting that okay there's also a children's party where there's like a magic clown or a magician or someone who's like twisting up balloons that you might connect with this person like you know it's some kind of it could be a birthday party and there's like some it's for kids or for or just family members or friends it doesn't have to be a kid's party as well just some kind of birthday party there's a connection um, or a family event, either you get invited to that or you connect with this person there, okay? Um, or you invite someone to that also. Could be also for some of you, there's also like a, an outdoor school. Um, okay, they're just saying a graduation. Yeah, there's a lot of connection. Somebody you're meeting, um, either through work or some kind of school event or some kind of... Um, a, a party or an outdoor tent kind of an event or something yes you're definitely connecting with a virgo taurus or a capricorn that is who's coming in okay like i said some of you this could be a reconnection um with someone from your past but for others there it's not it's just someone um that maybe you knew before or this person has kids or you your kids knew their kids or vice versa okay or you guys Maybe you played when you were ch children, or it's like um, a sibling of yours, one of their friends, and vice versa, okay? So there's like a whole bunch of scenarios I'm getting, which is okay, because sometimes that's the way it goes. Wow, but you've also got a King of Cups showing up here, okay, with the Chariot. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you got a king of cups that's going to be showing up now they could be related to you or this could be somebody else okay um they're attached to this chariot which is attached to some kind of travel or attached to some kind of change action and change um i'm also picking up ambulance vibes so it could be these two this king of cups and this king of pentacles are also friends um or they show up together or it's brothers, or, you know, whatever it is, they show up together. Virgo, it looks like you're going to have a decision. <laughs> Virgo, you're going to have a decision. This is what's happening for you. Because you got two players showing up, not player players, but you got two people showing up here, Virgo. Right? Very so Clearly decide what you want. <laughs> Virgo, I think you're going to have a couple of options happening here. Holy moly. Right? When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours not just a drizzle okay all right why is strength here okay somebody works out someone uh, does strength training okay i'm just picking that up somebody also <clears throat> works as like a dental tech or in a dentist's office and um okay and also i'm picking up mm, okay uh somebody works with animals as well okay yeah, Virgo, I just feel like, now show me what's going on. Uh, let's take a look and see. I want to see a little bit more, okay, with this king of, a little bit more with this king of pentacles and this king of cups. Show Virgo a little bit more. Who's this king of pentacles that's coming in? Looks like you're going to have a couple of options. Oh, king of pentacles coming in with a like solid offer serious king of pentacles is very very serious no playing around with the king of pentacles nope 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 very serious 
King of Pentacles is like the long-term relationship, very serious, doesn't play games, everything's real, everything's tangible. Um, you could touch it, feel it, sense it, smell it, taste it. Nothing with the King of Pentacles is fake at all. Okay, the offer that they're coming in with is, you know, they're, they're slow though. This King of Pentacles is like, they don't rush to the finish line. They're like, no, let's just enjoy the scenery as we go. You know, but they're very serious. Okay. Yeah, this this King of Pentacles like is a little codependent though. I'm gonna tell you this. This King of Pentacles is um <laughs> I feel like like a little simpy. <laughs> They're a little beta, a little bit of a beta. Um, you know, like whatever you say, whatever you do, they all follow. <laughs> and I know some of you are like, yep, it's fine with me. And others are you are like, no, but that's the energy that they're coming in. So whatever you do with that is up to you. Obviously, you're going to have a couple of decisions you're going to have to make here, a couple of choices. But um, this King of Pentacles, you know, they, they don't they don't like to be alone. They need to have a partner. And that's why they're so serious about having a relationship. Like King of Pentacles is like, no, I need to have my one and only for me for the rest of my life. And that is going to be my person. And I don't want anybody else. And um, I got to find that person. And when I meet that person, which is Virgo, I'm going to be real serious with the offer that I make of a date or getting together or seeing where something goes. And I'm going to pay for dinner. I'm going to do everything. Like this King of Pentacles will do anything for the long term, whatever it takes. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this King of Cups. Okay, King of Cups is very insecure. Definitely plays the victim a little bit here. Um, yeah, but why is, like, who is this? This person could be like a car salesman <laughs> or woman. Um, but the King of Cups kind of shows up, like, ready to, to make some changes about this, like, Eight of Swords energy. Why the, what is the deal? Um, like this King of Cups is like in prison. They could be in prison. Maybe they're getting out of prison also. Okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. King of Cups is trying to like raise his vibration to be more like the emperor. Okay. So you got like quite, <laughs> you got some options, Virgo. I don't know what to tell you. King of Cups is trying to make change. King of Cups is trying to take action here and change their life and present as like better than the king of pentacles right the king of cups now some of you might know who this is some of you might not okay um it's just gonna have to play around a little bit and it's predictive so you'll have to wait and see but i feel like the king of cups sits there with the chariot which is basically basically like i need to make some change and i need to do it fast okay um and so when you meet this person whoever they are they're gonna show up like in this emperor energy they're fighting these insecure self-sabotaging battles that they have within themselves okay i mean you're not gonna know when you meet them unless you already know them and you already are like shaking your head nodding your head and saying you already know who this is but when you meet this king of cups they're gonna show up with this like alpha sh like out of the like off the chain alpha okay even if it's a woman they're gonna show up very confident um because they're trying to become that they're trying to change right they're trying to make action and take action and make change in their life so if they were really insecure or a little more in a beta beta kind of energy um they're trying not to be that way they're trying to be like dependable um someone that like is respected someone who takes lead a lead in in the relationship strategic they, they make plans and they stick with them and it feels like this King of Pentacles is just like, I just need to have somebody and I'm going to go for the long term. I kind of feel, Virgo, like you have a couple of good options here. <laughs> you know, I feel like you've got a, a couple of decent options. Like, I mean, you got one who just is like so going to be so committed and is going to be there for the long haul. And then you've got the other one who's trying to kind of like level up their energy and present as someone... <laughs> Virgo, I feel like you're going to be in a little bit of a conundrum here. And I don't think we've had a reading like this before. I think you're going to be a little bit like, but, 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 I don't know. Y'all are going to be calling me soon. Like, who should I choose? 
I don't know who to choose. Tell me about these two two people because I know who this is and I'm going through this now. Who should I choose? I'm not going to tell you who to choose. you got to figure that out. But I'm telling you right now, Virgo, you have a couple of people showing up here and their single is a Pringle. Okay? And these are the ways you're going to meet these people. Like I said, they could be... You know, go back and, and hear everything I said about how you could be meet, meeting these people. Also, for some of you, this they, they could be like coming from um, uh, from a distance. Okay, you could meet them from a distance or travel. Um, they could be on the other side of the world. Some of you are going to meet this person online or meet them online, and then all of a sudden there's going to be like a meet up in real life. For others, um, I feel like there might be somebody here. I don't know which one that does some writing. That could be a writer as well. Something to do with books. Let me see. Oh, there's two of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're both coming into soulmates. And you know, Virgo, we can have more than one soulmate in our lives. In our lives. Okay, um, so there's definitely going to be a meetup for sure. Going out on a date, connecting. Um, proper date is what I'm hearing. A proper date. Okay, let me see. Oh my gosh. Divine divine connections with both of them. What? Okay. You know what? We're going to do this. What are the worst 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 case situation with each one of these? Okay. Oh jeez. Worst case with the King of Pentacles is long-term happiness, contentment, family, children. Okay, worst case with the King of Cups, heartbreak, arguments, separation. So, which is better, for you to be with someone who's trying or for you to be with someone who's motivated, capable, and willing to go the difference? Because if someone's trying, doesn't that mean that they're trying, but they could wind up giving up and quit where, you know, the King of Pentacles is much more dedicated to the long Hall, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Is that what you're going to be looking for? I mean, are you going to, are you going to kind of, it's a tough call for you, Virgo. I mean, I kind of feel like the King of Pentacles is trying to be a better, I mean, the King of Cups is showing up here trying to be a better person, um, which is good for them, but maybe, I don't know, maybe that's not going to work for you. Or maybe you might just look at this and say, nah, because you might wind up just giving up, um, and then, you know, it's all going to just fall apart. It seems to me like the, the King of Pentacles isn't really trying to be a better person. The King of Pentacles shows up very stable and secure um, and definitely doesn't want to struggle and wants to have a life partner. The Knight of Pentacles is long-term commitment. I mean, Virgo, you got stuff going on. Let me get a couple other messages here for you, Virgo. <clears throat> You got some, a couple of decisions here. I mean, it's like some of you I know are like, oh, you should give people a chance if they're really putting in the effort and trying, and that's fine. If that's what you want to do, definitely do that. You know, um, it just really depends. It's up to you. All right. Let me see. Let me get a couple of um, Amira messages here. Okay. So, mature man showing up, older male, mature in age. What else do they want you to know? All right. Passion, chemistry, a passionate feeling, and gifts, surprises, presents, openings. Okay. So there is a mature male showing up here for those of you who are interested in older men. Very passionate and is a big, huge gift giver. Which one of those, the King of Pentacles or the King of Cups? I don't know for sure. But you do have one showing up here in that energy, okay? I don't know if they're going to give me... Okay, a young female. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. A young female, youthful, into music and fashion. Um, uh, she's woke. She's a liberal. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> I can just tell by looking at her. Oh, yeah. She's all about the fun times, parties, events, and having fun, okay? Um, 
where's this going are these a connected spirit to the messages i just gave or is this something else virgo what are you looking for are you looking for someone who's mature and passionate and um you know likes to give little gifts and someone who's there for the long term are you looking for someone who's young and and fun and just to have like you know just to get together and have fun i i, I don't know most of the virgos on my channel are not really looking for one night stands and that kind of thing okay <laughs> soulmate virgo i can't with this reading great connection oh virgo okay they just said some of you might choose them both and just have fun with one and then get into something serious with the other i don't know i'm done with this reading i'm gonna tell you right now because there is too much going on here i'll get a few more messages but this right here this whole singles thing okay it's too much fun okay let's look at the physical features for the king of pentacles okay king of pentacles has black hair what else can you tell us about the king of pentacles short black hair my cards are like flipping off to the left short wavy black hair okay that's the king of pentacles long term there for the long term and also has blue eyes Okay, now show me the King of Cups. Okay, King of Cups has a mole somewhere on their face. Okay, these are the features. Oh, I had a card that was out. Also has brown hair. The King of Cups has a mole, also has brown hair. A mole or something there on the face. Wow, that's rare. Also has green eyes. That's a rarity. Oh my gosh, someone with brown hair and green eyes. Gorgeous. Let me see. Okay, curly brown hair sometimes colors it. Okay? Curly brown hair sometimes colors their hair. Um, okay. I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like overall, the message for you is that you're going to have a couple options, okay? And you're going to have to, I feel like they're both kind of good, but I feel like there's a possibility, like one looks like it's going to go the distance and the other one might not. But I feel like I need to tell you that the King of Cups with that Three of Swords is someone who is trying to be better because they've had their heart broken and they, um, okay, they might have had um, some heart surgery. Maybe they had some heart troubles, but also uh, heart troubles, whether that's like physical, actually like medical issues or like spiritually or they just you know a bad relationship or something happened and that's why they're trying to become this better person if that's the case and it's not like it's going to end up in a heartbreak um i feel like you're going to be kind of like weighing some options here because i do feel like you're going to be trying to get to know each other and i feel like you're going to be opening your heart in a lot of ways um to kind of see something through here with i don't know if you're going to be vo uh, dating both of them at the same time but i feel like you're you may have to get yourself in a safe place to open your heart to see and and kind of reveal a little bit about yourself so that you can understand better about that other person but i do feel like as far as this time period from now you're listening to this going into may you're going to be presented with two options and you're going to probably have, uh, hopefully you're not going to date both of them at the same time because that's a shitty thing to do. Um, I think at least sneakily, like if you're going to date them both, at least be upfront with both of them and say, listen, I am seeing somebody else, but I'm open to getting to know you and see where this goes. You know, like be open and honest. That's all. Right. And I think you guys are like that anyway. Like don't be sneaky because that's just... I don't think that's you know healthy but yeah I, I can't really say though who you're gonna choose and I wish I could so you know and if you call for a reading you can call Casey and I have my friend Brandy is going to be joining us too and you can call her um, coming up this week if you're in a situation where you have like two sh choices you don't know what to do definitely try to get a personal reading if you like need some help there um, or become a member of the channel and you can pop in on Sunday and 
present the question to me and I will answer it for you in this in the chat okay on Sundays thanks everybody for being there today I truly appreciate it I'll be back here tomorrow you guys with your hour-long romance and love reading all right you guys so have a great rest of your night and I will see you all back here tomorrow all right take care